All right, boys, let's go. <sighs> Howdy. <laughs> Story time today. So I had been wanting to try uh, psilocybin for quite a while. And I just didn't know anybody that had some. Anyways, uh, finally was able to get some. And, and a friend of mine and I were going to go to my house to do them. But I bought them in the Phoenix area. Well, anyways, we got lazy to go all the way to Tucson. And it wasn't even an option to do it in... in um, do it at her house because she lives with her parents so we found a chart online that says how much you can do how much you take and and what you're gonna see and I told her hey why don't we just do a little bit do a what's called a museum dose and we'll just chill in your room and trip out and she's like yeah that's cool all right awesome so that's all we did. I, uh, it was a giant mushroom. The three and a half grams was just one big mushroom. And I didn't take a photo of it. I'm such an idiot. Took a piece. I tried to weigh it, but it wasn't reading on the scale. So I, I kind of guessed like, ah, oh, this should be about a gram. And, and I took a little bit more than her. Within 10 minutes, she started to feel it. And I was like, no way. Because we've done edibles before. And, and it takes her like an hour and a half to start feeling the edible. And me, it takes me like half hour. <laughs> So I thought, all right, here, take this. Uh, we both took it at the same time, and her within 10 minutes. It took me an hour to start feeling anything. <sighs> anyway, um, she starts tripping. I'm being her guide. She's, she says she's feeling a little overwhelmed, a little paranoid, because she's, you know, just feeling all the emotions. And I'm just guiding her and helping her through it like it's okay to feel everything if you feel scared don't run from it just relax breathe and she and then and then obviously after about an hour I start to feel it and oh she's also feeling nauseous as well and then I start to feel nauseous and um she starts to cry and she's like, I don't know why I'm crying. And I'm like, that's okay. Just feel it, you know, go with it. And, and then about an hour later, I start to cry because the feeling was so overwhelming. All your senses. And, everything. and um, she would lay back, close her eyes. Me too. We were chilling on her bed and I was seeing geometric patterns and I was seeing faces and I, I was tripping. I was seeing some colorful stuff when I would close my eyes. And I would ask her, what about you? She's like, no, I just, I just feel like it, for her, it was just more of a feelings, not so, not no visual, just feelings. And, um, so after about a couple hours, you know, we would, we would talk to each other and we would have a couple of laugh attacks. And I told her, hey, you know what? I just realized that everything that you're feeling and going through, I am too, except I'm an hour behind. So it's like we're on the same trip, except she's experiencing it first. And then it takes me about an hour to get there and feel what she's feeling. 
and and yeah and and you know we, we were being silly we were laughing we'd go on our own trips close our eyes come back together laugh at each other and and i'm talking about like maniacal laughs like <laughs> like crying and dying and because everything's just more enhanced obviously <sighs> after about three hours she starts to she's no longer peeking she's coming out of it she's like i feel good now i don't feel so scared or anything i'm like that's great like you're coming off of it and at that time i'm peeking i'm still not out of it <sighs> so i'm laying down trying to just relax and you know stay on my trip now mind you this was supposed to be a museum dose and this strain that we took was arguably like one of the stronger or strongest strain and we were more in the moderate dose stage because i was definitely seeing fractals and geometric patterns when I close my eyes um, and it was it was a pretty moderate dose <sighs> so we've been in her room for like four hours we're listening to Pink Floyd the whole time her dad knocks on the door and he opens it which he never does but we have the lights off and we disappeared. So I'm pretty sure he was kind of like, like, where'd they go? So he opened the door and he's like, what's up guys? And we're just laying there. And I'm, you know, on psilocybin. <laughs> and I go, oh, you know, just listening to some Floyd, just tripping out, man, chilling. He's like, that's cool. And my friend over here goes, we're on shrooms and I'm already sobering up, but Mikey's an hour behind. And he looks at both of us like, all right, have a nice trip. And then he closes the door and I'm just like, what the, what was that? She's like, what? And I'm like, why would you say that? And she's like, well, because I wanted to tell him the truth. I'm like, you obviously didn't think this through. I go, Nick's going to understand he knows about mushrooms. He knows how they work. He knows that they're not harmful. But your mom is not. And he's going to, he has to tell your mom. So, Chancey's having a blast. <laughs> Here it comes. <laughs> so anyway, I was like, do you realize how you sounded? You sounded like a crazy person. To us, it makes sense what you said. But to him, you were like, we're on shrooms. I'm already sobering up, but Mikey's an hour behind. Like, what the hell does that mean? I mean, maybe he got it, maybe he didn't, but... <laughs> and anyways, we started laughing about it, and then she started to feel kind of bad, and... Uh, ultimately, she had to have a talk with her parents, and they were cool about it after she talked to them and explained to them. And... But yeah, that's my story. <laughs> And I was like, man, it's like getting pulled over by the police. Have you been drinking tonight? He's drunk. I'm sober. Like, who does that? You know? God bless her. She's so honest. And I told her, hey, I love your honesty, but it's okay to admit sometimes. <laughs> oh, man. But anyway, just wanted to share that while I take the dogs to run around and on this beautiful day and whoever watches this that doesn't live in Arizona we have the best freaking weather from 
for like eight months. It's just beautiful here. Clear, no freaking smog. Like you look, you look down anywhere in freaking LA and it's just a layer of just like, it's just gross. And here, look at that. You can see. <sighs> Fresh air, baby. <laughs> Till next time. Thanks for watching. And um, if you enjoy my stories, like, subscribe, um, hit the notification bell. I post like every couple days, just random stuff. And I'm going to continue doing this just for my own pleasure. And if anybody enjoys it, cool. Follow along. But I'll see you on the next one. Chats. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs>